Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate the performance of Polar H10 heart rate monitor in the pool and I will compare it with H7. Here I'm actually trying to demonstrate why the heart rate monitor is not coming and it's definitely taking longer than usual. Um, I put the HR monitor actually after getting into the pool and getting a couple of laps so that reading is normal at this stage. After the HR monitor popped out of place, I think it already lost transmission. But here, for like 10 more seconds, it actually pretends that I have 140 beats per minute, and then it loses track and it actually flatlines almost until the end of my run. Okay, so after the initial try, I said, okay, I should give it another go because it popped out. And here you can see that I actually moved the unit a bit to the left, closer to my heart. And let's see how it goes. So this is actually an interesting reading. As you can see, it stays almost the same for a lot of time, and then it jumps right at 188 or something so I have a feeling that polar kind of assumes your heart rate for a while but I'm not sure about that To be frank with you, I think H7 was a disaster when it comes to bull performance, at least in the bull that I go to. Here I'm around 90 per minute because I actually put the heart rate monitor on before jumping into the pool. I was naive and I thought that it would actually work smoothly. And here you can see a similar pattern to H10. It kind of assumes and stayed very put. It does not move at all, but H10 is actually an improvement over this. And here you see a sudden jump because back then I did a similar test and for those who are actually new to the heart rate monitor world here is actually what it should look like this is during a internal training of mine and you see how the heart rate actually smoothly increases and decreases because the monitor actually gets readings a lot frequently than the times we're in the pool All right, hey, so I just got out of the pool. Um, let me tell you one thing. I think Polar H10 is way better than H7 when, it's com when it comes to pool swimming. But uh, there are a couple of things that you should know. First of all, you need to attach your strap tighter than usual. I would say like two inches tighter than usual because otherwise it really, really loosens up. And when you push yourself, you can actually uh, make the thing move and it loses the measurement if you do that so be very mindful about how you attach a strap and I actually learned a great trick from Polar's website you should actually put it a little bit under your the left side of your chest because that's where your heart is and when you're running it doesn't make much of a difference but if you are in the pool it's already difficult to get the transmission, so I really advise you to move your unit towards the left of your chest, basically closer to your heart, so you get better. Whew, so you get better readings. All right. So let's see the entire session here. It starts from 140 beats per minute, which makes sense because I 
already warmed up and it keeps a steady pace it is consistent with my swim and then we have the first test where I actually went full speed and we lost connection because that's because the monitor actually moved and then we have a nice uh, decrease of heart rate which is actually true and then before the start of the second test we are losing connection and then the second test just flat lines I was expecting to see a rather smooth increase there and then a sudden jump from 135 to 182 and then it's actually consistent with the rest of my exercise because I actually remember taking it easy around the 30 minute mark which is consistent and the rest of the readings are rather credible in my opinion um, I think this will be it for today thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe see you next time